largely the small scale farming. When we talk about the small scale farming, that is where every individual on his own uses his own resources that are available to him to cultivate maybe two, three, four, five, a maximum of about ten acres. That is what we mean by small scale farming. And this small scale farming comes with its own challenges and limitations. Because if you are in your own small corner, doing your own thing, you have no idea what is happening somewhere. Whatever you get, you take it like that. Because you think that is what you are doing is the best. <coughs> As a result of this, mostly the output from our farms keep on <laughs> Let's say if previously you are doing your small scale farming one acre, you do make, you can get let's say about five months. The next year you go and activate, you get three months. The succeeding year you can wait, you get two bars. Yields keep on going down. And most of you, you don't understand why are the yields going down? Because you are sharing no idea, you are sharing no information or idea with anybody. You are just your own small partner doing your own thing. Don't call it the last couple of years, the bouncing and the year, the meeting of the last. The Chamuka, the even year, the Chumamako. So, government, other NGOs, companies like us, mooted a lot of ideas that will bring farmers together. So that you, whenever there is any intervention or whenever somebody wants to meet farmers, you know that there is this group of farmers here. When I go, I do not have to just talk to Mr. Aziz, Mr. Abdullah, Mr. Aziz. I need a group. Talk to them. Whatever we have, they share with me, I share with them, and then we move on. So we brought the concept of what? Group system. That's the NGO, farmer based organizations. Through the USA, through other organizations, through Yara, we thought that it is good we bring farmers together. Like we are here together, so that we are able to share ideas in order to get a solution to the dwindling years that is uh, befalling us now. So the Lama Chamakate NGO Naman and Tenon Compare Moma, the Tenon Lambu, but farmer based, farmer based, farmer based organizations, farmer based organizations, but the land of Parva, Zampadi and Nakati and the other, the Matam Chamu. And so you can see that today most of you farmers in the various communities are being urged to come together as a group so that when there are technological advances, where there, where there are supports, you are able to reach you easily to disseminate those technologies and support. So the Chamuka Tenon Tenon Paromash was so that the Sansomi to them. This is the Sansom Kanami. To be a Tuwala Chant to Boros, Yakaza Yakaza, 
So the groups of stems can be benefits such as, let's say, planter services, input supply, training services. You know, when you are in group, it's easy as a group to request for services of planters in urban areas or in with uh, mechanization institutions to come and plow your land for you. It's easy as a group to put in your request of inputs, such as seeds, such as fertilizer, then they are, we are able to load them together and bring it to you in the community. It is easy for us to meet you as a group like this, to discuss with you the problems you have in your farms. And then if there are solutions we can give, we are able to give you the solutions in a group. Okay, so uh, based on this group system, now we are able to have some of these discussions we are having today. And then it enables us as input companies, Zara is an input company, to get targeted uh, educational apps. For instance, now we are taking database of farmers. We are able to know this farmer is in this community, these farmers are in this community. When we have any support, we are able to channel it through the group leaders. And then those support reach you easily. So that is a new way of farming that we are trying to inculcate in the in, in our communities now. Farming now is also moving away from the subsistence uh, agriculture where we just use our bowls and cutlasses and then go to till the land. Now more technological advances are coming and it is good that we begin to think of farming as a business and a technology driven venture. Yeah. We will talk after this session, we will talk more into good practices of farming. But now it is important as farmers we understand from the beginning of the farming enterprise what we should do right so that we get the right output. So, so we need to understand what kind of seeds we are using in our farm. We need to understand what kind of seeds we are using in our farm. Is the seed an OPV or the seed is 
is a hybrid. When we say OPV, that's the open pollinated varieties like the Obatapa and Watabi. Mostly we say they are the local varieties. If it is OPV, the practices of OPV is different. If it's a hybrid, the practices of hybrid are different. Then we begin to think about the weed control. And then we identify what kind of control we do we want to weed inside or we want to use chemicals. Then we need to talk things about pests. For instance, for amiwen. Then we need to think about the appropriate time to harvest. Then we need to talk about how to store the food. And then we need to talk or think about how to market or sell the produce. So all these are the kind of thinking we should put in place when we are going into the farming enterprise. So we will discuss these steps into details in the next session. But what I want you to know is that as a company, we are thinking about means and ways of making sure that your farming is profitable for you. So we know that the major problem with our farming here, most of it is about the predictability of the rainfall or weather. So Yara, as a company, is developing what we call the farm weather. It has been rolled out in some countries in East Africa, and very soon we will have it in Ghana. Africa, eh, the farm weather app, when it becomes available, you will have it on your phones. You are able to go to the app and it can give you when within the season the days you can have rainfall. The weather app so that when you are able to know when you will have rain, it enables you to prepare your farming activities. Then we have another app we call the Yara Check It. That one is available for those who have Android phones. So those who have Android or if your children have Android, you can let them go to Google Store and download Yara Check It. So Google Store. download Yara Check It. So 
So with the yellow circuit, it comes with a pictorial display of all crop deficiency symptoms. For instance, if you take maize, when you go to the checking and select maize uh, deficiency symptom or problems, you will it will show you a picture of all the different problems of maize that you are likely to encounter in the farm. So that when you go to your farm and you see a particular problem, you just go to the Yara check it. Then you go through the pictures. When you see the problem on your farm and compare it to the picture and it is the same, there is a place you click on the solution. It will show you what the problem is and what you need to do to solve that particular problem. So the other thing we are doing to support you now is what uh, we do on Facebook. We have a page on Facebook. You just Google, you, know, you go to Facebook, select Yara Ghana. Anything you want, any query, any question, either you or you get somebody, you type in whatever you want, you, you want at the Facebook page, and then they have people who are always monitoring it 24 7. And then it comes up immediately to the company. And then we are able to reach out to you to solve your problem for you. And about all this, we have agronomists and market promoters on the ground. If you take the north, we have zoned the north in order to reach more farmers and to be more accessible to you. So if you come to the northern region, northern region, we have an officer in Yenji and is supported by a market promoter. They are always with you. They run demonstrations with you. If you come to Tamale, our head office in the north is in Tamale. I'm seated here. We have market promoters in the office where you can easily reach us if you have any equipment. If you go to the Savannah region, we have a market promoter in Damambu who you can easily reach out to if you need anything from Yara. If you go to the Upper West, we have a salesperson in Wa, we have a salesperson in Tum, and if you go to Upper East, we have a salesperson in Volga, we have a salesperson 
in Boku. And all these are supported by other staff we call market promoters. And all this is to make ourselves accessible to you so that anything you need from us, we are able to come and to support you.
Harvest Agribusiness Exhibition and Conference celebrates its 10 years anniversary this year with another cutting-edge agribusiness event from the 7th to the 8th of October 2020 at the Aliu Bahama Sports Stadium, Tamale, under the theme COVID-19 and Beyond solutions for agricultural transformation come and interact with players and counterparts from every sector in the agri value chain make and seal new business deals acquire new innovative ideas get markets for your product be part of our training sessions presentations commodity breakout sessions and exhibitions this event is organized by agri house foundation in partnership with ministry of food and agriculture european union ecobank and iaragana for for more information, call 0244-623-012 or visit our website, agrihousefoundation.com. God bless the farmer. God bless the farmer. The Pre-Harvest Agribusiness Exhibition and Conference celebrates its 10 years anniversary this year with another cutting-edge agribusiness event from the 7th to the 8th of October 2020 at the Aliu Bahama Sports Stadium, Tamale, under the theme COVID-19 and Beyond solutions for agricultural transformation come and interact with players and counterparts from every sector in the agri value chain make and seal new business deals acquire new innovative ideas get markets for your product be part of our training sessions presentations commodity breakout sessions and exhibitions this event is organized by agri house foundation in partnership with ministry of food and agriculture european union ecobank and iaragana for more information call 0244-623-012 or visit our website agrihousefoundation.com god bless the farmer God bless the farmer. The Pre-Harvest Agribusiness Exhibition and Conference celebrates its 10 years anniversary this year with another cutting-edge agribusiness event from the 7th to the 
Mwami akaa suntu kana sarpala te kompe mambo ya mabeda iko na dua tu kwa examples of the USA advanced groups that we went to in the upper west, in the eastern corridor, those complaining about the fertilizer subsidy. We had a good way of making sure that they were the first we made sure the groups had access to the subsidy fertilizers before we sold it out to the general public. <laughs> Instead of you not getting sati at all and having to go and buy <coughs> the one without sati. No, you know, what I actually mean is that a group, a number should be ample. That's why I would say it depends on uh, we in our typical groups we meet for things. It's around 30 to 50. Mm, you get it. But if your group is 20, then you invite them. We won't say because it's not up to this, we won't come. <laughs> you get it. And the group system is also good for us because like he's talking about Nyambala to Goli. Maybe the place is fine. I know I know to go in, but not very well. So if the group brings their demand and they can take about 300, 200, it's easier to organize a kiaka to pick the product from Tamale to that area. Instead of one person coming to buy three, four, five packs. You get it. So even when we can't get somebody to pick a product and sell to you. Let's say somebody like a retailer in that it. Because of the group, we are able to put you together. That's not product direct for you. And we've done that a lot and it helps us. It helps Okay. So, please, I think that should be the last uh, question because.
because I think we ran out of time. We are around, so we can have a lot of Yes, 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 Our discussion is very interesting and then what I have to be what I have uh, in addition is that the uh, fertilizer, we really need the fertilizer, but time to use it and then we want it again, we don't get it. What we want you to do is just try as much as possible. Always uh, supply the fertilizer in time for us so that we can always have it. So uh, it's well noted, and uh, like I said, you can reach us through any means. Then we will attend to your needs. I will make sure your products are there. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you.
So you can also ask them to address it.